Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through how you can set up a weekly review. Now I think this is an essential part of having a productive and fulfilled life. As always, please make sure you're liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them have the motherhood of their dreams too. So I do my weekly review just in a standard notebook. I have a little print off of the questions I'm gonna ask myself, paper clipped in, and I move it through the notebook to a fresh page for a fresh week. So I have 10 basic questions in my weekly review. And what I'm gonna do is link them down below as a printable PDF. You will need to insert your own values to make it relevant to you, but the basic questions will be the same no matter what. So my questions go through reviewing my past week, what are my wins, how was I feeling, what is isn't working, how am I on track for my goals, are my values in line with my previous week, like literally taking the list of values and comparing it to your previous week. Because I truly believe that if you're not living a life by your values, you, something's not gonna feel right. You're not gonna complete, feel completely in tune with yourself. So that one is really important. And then we take everything that we've learned from the weekly review and the last question gets you to put them into your diary for the future week. So what are your goals for the future week based on what you've assessed from the week before? Having a weekly review is a really simple concept and it's so nice to get your thoughts down on paper. I'm such a digital bunny and this is definitely one of the times that I like to put actual pen to paper. You can really just use any notebook with a paper clip. Um, this one for me is a, actually it's a religious notebook and it's got lovely little quotes from the Bible on different pages. I could also color it in, but I'm not really a colorer, but I just quite liked it because it meant the pages were a bit more interesting, but still quite simple. And then I just have, see this little print off here of my weekly review questions. And then I have a copy of like my goals underneath it as well, because there's a bit where I sort of check in on how I'm progressing with my goals. I like to have them printed off and visual as opposed to trying to remember them. And then I just move that page through the book as I need a new page in the book. I also use this as a time to decompress. So I'll usually do this first thing on a Saturday morning and it gives me a chance to light a candle, have a little stretch and just work my way through the questions. For me, staying on top of where I am now really helps me move forward with my life in an intentional way. It keeps me productive, it keeps me happy. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below if you do a weekly review and what impact it has had on your life. Or if you're gonna start one, when? Let's get accountable. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh,